uh, came out with a video, and it, this was actually a comment, not what you own, gold is rock. Now I thought, well, that was an interesting comment from a, and look at what the Bible says. I know a lot of people have put their hopes in gold. I'm into end time in a practical way. Don't be afraid. Read what James said. Jesus the, says, your gold and silver have, now is corrosion a corroded. good thing or a bad thing? This, this is, is bad. The, the, the scripture is not saying very good things about gold in the end times. It's been going down and down. And their corrosion will be evident your flesh like fire, and you have laid up treasure in the last days. Other translations Multiple. say gold, your gold. Well, that doesn't really make sense because gold doesn't rust. Mm -hmm. To me, to be a prophecy that you cannot fall in love with, it's not going to be the store of value. If it cannot, then it seems to indicate a decline in the price of gold. So the gold bugs, the, the prophecy are... community, they love to say, and they've been waiting, Kate, and they say, gold is going to go to 5,000 an wow. ounce. It hasn't happened. And I think maybe we should pay attention to what James gold says. Gold is dirt, literally, for God. Gold are like in heaven. Revelation 21, verse 21, about the new Jerusalem. Twelve gates were twelve pearls, each of the gates made of a single pearl, and the street of the city was glass. Pure. In other words, Gold, it's dirt. So don't fall in love with gold. I think it's, it's shiny, it's pure. Okay, but if you think that's going to be your salvation financially, that that's true. So if you're storing up gold, you know, one day you get to heaven, you say, wow, it's plentiful gold. My hopes I'm in this. Right now, cryptocurrency is more precious than silver and gold. The price, you can see, of the that's white right. silver and gold are declining. And the safe haven right now is cryptocurrency, so you can see a lot of Muslim money pouring in to cryptocurrency. A question we got to ask before we go is, is Mama and Papa out there probably saying, it's a been saying since it hit a 500, 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, 20,000 US. So is it a bubble? Well, here's a graph. Bitcoin on this graph, which is, um, you know, I mean, the measure is, the access is not Currencies are all different, but it looks pretty scary. Bitcoin There's a, making a hockey stick rise up to the top. Compare that, which is the tulip mania of 1630. Obviously, tulip doesn't have intrinsic value, but there was a big hype and people bought into it. You know, decays very Bought quickly. at outrageous prices and then the bubble bursts. People, people got depressed, of course. And then if we go to uh, tech bubble, that's in light blue. Starting from 1994, there bursting was a bubble. in 2002, that we call that the dot com bubble. Lost money in that cycle, okay, in that financial investment. So, is this another one? Is this another one? It could be, right? This is the US dollar a bubble. When you can print money like this to now, it looks like $23 trillion. US with economy itself a bubble. The purchasing power of the U.S. dollar, it's like a reverse hockey stick. Is the Australian property market a bubble? Property it's price from 1880 projected to 2020. The first year I came here, everybody said Australian property is overpriced. And it kept going up. Then there was the 2008 financial crisis. The People price said it was very steady and it kept going up and up. So when's the right time to buy property? Right, but the graph looks very scary. It's rocketing just like in fact, when you compare us, the other markets, the UK, uh, US, and Canada, median high, dwelling, the highest for Australia compared to any other country in the world. Our household debt as a percent of GDP, so simple world average, the 75% uh, percent tile distribution, uh, there, and we were like way outside the Bollinger Band. With so a lot of debt in Australia. Everybody is spending money they don't have. Are we in a body? It's heading to a double. So, bu so bubble. So which bubble? We're heading to which a one double. Do you want? Okay. I'd rather go for the double. A bubble. The truth is, every fiat currency has become worthless. I mean, who uses this Nazi currency anymore? How about this? This was money when I. I remember carrying this in my pocket. is worthless today. It's like, you know, cartoon drawing. Today. You can't use that to buy anything. It's gone. The franc is gone. This one, even an older franc. France. The bank, five, I don't know what it is, nouveau franc today. 
like a nice piece of artwork. Venezuela, Venezuelan Bolivar. Falling in 2014, cash crisis due to government, you know, government. In 2016, the U.S. Uh, two dollars was equal to 20,000 Bolivares. 2017, the same two dollars is worth 200,000. And guess what? If you live there, the private banks ATM would not withdraw of more than 30,000 Bolivares. That was at that time two dollars and eighty-eight cents. And the amazing when thing, you're here in Australia and you need to withdraw money, they ask you questions. Cash? You will find out how they will put strict control or on off you. and that much better. I think we are better. I think we live in a better but don't kid yourself and inflate money anytime. The government run banks at that time ten thousand bolivares out. That's ninety-six cents. So where did people go? They went to cryptocurrency. Led to what they considered incorruptible, immutable, and they went to Bitcoin. My goodness. This is the first dollar bill that you've ever seen. $300 when it came out in 2013. Completely worthless. Due to the corruption. Any country you've gone to, every single piece of fiat currency. They all bubbles. Apparently they all are. There's a, you know, a big sign in a Japanese shopping mall says, Bitcoin can be used for payment. There it is. There's someone showing an example on TV. That 0 0.00336. Right, so money that has value. Increasing in value. So you pay in tiny little decimals. It can be bought from certain ATMs America wants now. to man manipulate. They're a little bit behind because Bitcoin is very popular. CNBC volume uh, of Bitcoin. Japan accounts for half global trade volume. America is only at a quarter. We in the English-speaking world are actually behind the Muslims Anyone and the Japanese institution in the Western power, Western world, no. manipulate this. In fact, Bitcoin is so... This is my Fujimoto. She's called Miss Bitcoin in Japan. It was around educating people how to invest in Bitcoin and how to use Bitcoin. This is my take on it, okay? Fundamentals. If you like to look at fundamentals. There are 33 million million dollars or more. There are 33 million millionaires. There are 21 million bitcoins. It's all eventually mine. That means there are not enough bitcoins One for every millionaire to own. Put that in perspective. Already been taken up by tech geeks and young early adopters. And when the millionaires want to come in, there will not be enough for them to have money.